In this part, we're going to be talking about comparing theoretical values to the actual values. So far in this chapter, all we've been talking about is theory. The theoretical value is the answer we've been producing using our mole ratios, using our molar masses, etc., etc. So every answer we've gotten so far is just based on theory. Actual values come from labs. They're what you produce and weigh on the scale after you're done. So imagine you've just uh, done a lab and you're supposed to get 25 grams of, of a substance, but you only get 22 grams. You can compare the actual 22 grams to the theoretical 25 grams from your stoichiometry and get a percent analysis of what you did. Hopefully in our labs it's in the 90% range, but you have to be very careful and control uh, your technique to make sure you get it in that range. Our example problem has methanol being produced from carbon monoxide and hydrogen using this balanced equation. One mole reacting with two moles to produce one mole of methanol. The first job is to figure out what the theoretical answer is. And you notice here that a the same steps so far. Grams, grams, moles. Moles of one thing, moles of the other thing. Moles, back in a mass. Get an answer. Then you do it again with the other given. Grams, grams, moles, moles. This two comes from that two. Moles, moles, molar mass. Get another answer. This smaller answer right here is the theoretical yield. And that tells us the hydrogen limits the reaction because it can only make 68,000 grams. So I'm going to take this smaller answer and use it to calculate how good a job this reaction is doing in terms of its what it should do versus what it is doing. So I'm going to take the 35,700 grams that was actually produced. Look at that language here. The, the CH3OH is produced. And compared to that, what should have happened, and I'm going to get a percentage, and that percentage is 52%. So they only produced 52% of what they really should have produced, which is really not very good. Um, in today's lab and in tomorrow's lab, hopefully you're going to do a much better job, going to hit the 90% range. Good luck.